Yeah, leaves are turning good here now. Oh yeah. Right I've actually been seeing some on, on Instagram lately. Uh, yet again, I think by the time I actually have the gas money to go and do so, uh, it's gonna be over. So. Yeah. That building there was originally built from Mr. Donuts. Oh. Many, yeah. many years ago, back yeah, in the... Yeah, and it didn't last long. It turned into a China place. It just went out of business after 40 years. Yeah, it, so that, uh, it, and that building... The place must have been from the 50s. Uh, either, I know it was... It didn't last long. It went out sometime in the mid-70s, and um, it stayed vacant for a long time before that. I, I keep forgetting we're in 2022, so 40 years is only back in the 80s, I mean. Yeah. I'm forgetting I'm fucking 40 years old. Yeah. So yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, I keep thinking it's like, fuck. sometimes I roll back to like 2000. I feel like we're still getting ready to go oh, yeah. on the cusp of 1999. I used to go to that school, second grade to the sixth grade. Yeah, what are they doing some fucking... I guess so. Yeah, I think they're putting in new windows. They're either painting or putting in new windows. Might be putting in new windows because they boarded up a lot of windows during the Carter years. Yeah. Because, because the uh, OPEC issue. They're saying, show with my hospital. Yeah. Which really helped them yeah. costs. I don't know. I'm getting, I, got, I looked up on my ceiling today and I got like fucking 30 ladybugs up there. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Brenda told me that it's like the ladybug graveyard every year. Hmm. I mean, it wasn't bad last year, but this year, it's, I think mm -hmm. what it is is they haven't had a chance to die yet and the cold is hitting way early this year. Yeah by like a month and a half. Broadway coffee shop there has been there for a lot of years, decades. I yeah, got stuff in there sometimes. Um, I used to go and try all these little coffee shops, but. I used to live right upstairs there. I was living up there when Hurricane Gloria hit. Supposedly, if you can't live up there, related to the guy that owns the um, Miguel's uh, Mexican restaurant. Oh, okay, I don't know and who. And apparently he owns one of the most uh, Productive uh, marijuana dis distribution companies hmm. right now. Um, guy named Dan Curlin used to own it when I lived there. I grew up with his with his brother Jeff, or his cousin Jeff, I guess. Yep, this was all my old stomping ground when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I don't like it here. I wish people could learn to drive better, but that's one of my really only complaints. Mm -hmm. Eventually, when all my bills are caught up and all these medical things, and I'm not rushing from place to place to get shit done in time crunch during a week. Yeah. I won't be in any hurry to go anywhere like they are, but right now they're really starting to get on my godforsaken nerves. Yeah. Because it is. They're laid back. They're just not in a hurry. And that's not what it is down south. That's, that's partially just because it's so populated and yeah. so big where I'm from. That There's forest right there. You need it. Okay, so it crosses over right there. Yeah. See, that's, I, I was thinking that forest ended right here. It's still water. Like that side. Because there's also forest ab down there in Orno. Yeah. Yeah, Forest Avenue and Bank Road goes all the way to State Street. It's funny, I moved to Bangor temporarily at the motel. And I'm on another State Street. I was living on State Street in Kittery. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I was like, I can see the Memorial Bridge from my house. Yeah. The New Hampshire Main Memorial Bridge. Been in Kittery a lot. Kittery a lot. Delivering uh, produce. That's a good idea. I hadn't been back in like six years or four years, like five years, something like that. Completely different. Route one. The the roundabout with the Seven Eleven was still there, which is what I went by every day going to my house. Yeah. But like, there's all new. It's also got another Seven Eleven just down the way on one, right as you go into the mm -hmm. shopping centers because they just had so much business. Yeah. They they just went ahead and put up two, one for those local. 
the local people that hit it the roundabout and then the one for all the it, they were trying they're trying to divert the um, tourist travel from going down all the, through the roundabout to the 7-Eleven yeah. and all that traffic build up for all the people that live there because it was a nightmare every tourist season right oh man I pull out my driveway and it's literally like with no cars I pull out the driveway I'm at the gas station at 7-Eleven at, at the roundabout in like 10, 10 mm -hmm. seconds 10 seconds yeah it took me 20 minutes to get out of my driveway into the roundabout one day wow the tourist. I was like holy crap I was like that's if it's this bad the city should be giving you rebates mm -hmm. on like housing and other things that you pay. Right. Because they're making a lick at these, at the outlets. Mm -hmm. I was going to go drive down. I was always, just when I went down to see my mom in March, I was going to drive down one and see how mm -hmm. much the shopping centers have changed, but I just didn't have that much dedication. Because I worked at the, um, I worked at the Columbia Sport. You have the right of way. Good God, pay attention. I worked at the uh, Columbia Sportswear and the Calvin Klein. Oh yeah, yeah. Never done any shopping there. J just been down there on deliveries. Have you ever had the money and you fucking <coughs> you want some clothes that are you know uh, decent brand, decent price? It's there. Yeah. I go in and get a hoodie, and the neatest hoodie that I get at Dick's Sporting Goods. It's like fifty bucks. I can get it for like twenty five, thirty bucks there. Nice. But it, I, what it is is they're always a season behind, and they sell small defects stuff. Like stitching wasn't proper. Oh yeah. If they, oh yeah. They inspect all that shit. Adidas, all those companies, they don't send out anything to the main stores that has any. Yeah. Hardly. Right. To the degree they can. If it's cold, mm -hmm. you know, past the point where it alone is going to keep me warm, then I'll put a coat on here. I had a Carhartt jacket once, but that's long gone now. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to invest in some other ones this year though, because I've lost all the weight and I'm getting the cold a lot easier. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Boy, that boom I, looks I good. In, when I moved in, I was too sick of people. It comes from not eating. Yeah. being dizzy and puking and sweating my ass off. Right. I'll put, I'll put some weight back on. I had a weird thing happen this morning. The, early this morning, I was talking to Ray on the phone and suddenly vomited. Strangest thing. I, I felt fine and I... I'm telling you, I think you're so close. Felt fine since. It's just... It makes me wonder if it's got fucking asbestos in it. Yeah, just a freak incident, I guess. There's all sorts of weird sicknesses going around. I think there's really, really mild, low-level COVIDs that are going around that people think are just a head cold. Right, yeah. I think it's just, I think it's weaning itself out because we haven't had a strain that was as impactful and harmful as the very first one. Everybody's like, oh, this is spreading rapidly, but their symptoms are less. Oh, this one's spreading even faster, but the symptoms are even less than the previous one. Which right. Means that this disease is, it's, it's not being... It's being compatible as far as spread, but it's not being anything where it's mixing with anything that is increasing its yeah. potency and lethality. I mean, for you know, people that still have they still have uh, medical conditions, susceptible. Yeah, I mean, they still have to worry about it, but mm -hmm. they keep saying all these variants, but you don't see any of the hospital crunches, any of the right. death toll numbers, or anything. I wish I could get that moon to come out on this, but it's not yeah. going to happen. You have to wait until it's nighttime, and you have to go into your time lapse and do a time lapse, which you'll need something to set it on so that your hand don't move it. Oh, yeah. And you'll collect a lot of the stars around here. They'll, so, still, they'll still be muffled a little bit because of the city lights, but yeah. I stood right here in the backyard and just held it up in the air, and I saw yeah. 18 stars that I couldn't see with my eye. Wow. 
That's cool. You can get some pretty I cool wanted stuff. to get a gimbal this month, but I had to I had to put that money towards food instead. Yeah, that's right. And that's so, not something you really need to worry about right now. No. No. Oh, those are turning nice there. Okay, well.